Hey there, I wonder if you just cut that bird flying by me. It is a beautiful day down here in, uh, on the Pacific coast of South America in Ecuador. And it is literally just gorgeous. It's a little hot for my taste. It's going to be about 31 degrees. That's near 90 for you folks in the States. And yes, I know I, that's how I think myself. But it is 31 for a high down today. And it is an absolute gorgeous day. Now let's talk about workspace because this, of course is where I do all of my work out here on the patio. No, sun's bright, the internet reception is not bad, but of course it's a little spottier outside here away from the wired internet, and the sun glare bugs the jeepers out of me and I'd sweat up a storm. But this seems to be what uh, most people think I'm working at when I'm talking about uh, working remote uh, in a tropical environment, but it's not the case. Let's look at what I look at for my workspace, what I consider, and uh, where I actually do my work. Although I will admit, occasionally a Zoom call will happen out here. Okay, I'm pretty sure the colleagues that know I'm abroad and know I'm on the coast, which isn't many of them to be honest, do think this is my workspace. And I will admit, sending them a few pictures from me on the beach with a scotch right after work or maybe over lunch. But no, sadly, I am not sitting out on the patio. Uh, as I mentioned in the intro, the sun glare is horrible. The sweat builds up quickly. I do have a plug off to the right, but uh, this is not where I do my work. No rum and certainly no beer during the work hours. Where I do my work is here. This is my office. It's air conditioned. The shades are always drawn. I have no sun glare. I have a nice big monitor. I've got my full size keyboard and you can see there on the ground, I have my APC UPS for any power interruptions and I keep um, that handy in the coffee instead of beer and water instead of the rum. Now you might ask, how on earth does one take this nomadic? I don't. This is my standard slow-mo or established office space. When I travel with just my laptop, that's a whole different thing, uh, but I still work in an environment like this. Now I have another video that talks about how I carry an office where I'm going to be going someplace for an extended period of time. It's called Office in a Box. You can go look at that. I will admit the monitor shown in this is a 32 inch monitor that I bought locally, not the 24 inch monitor that I show in Office in a Box. When I'm looking for a place, uh, now this is, I break this into two separate categories. If I'm looking for a place I'm gonna be at for a while, I care about backup internet and backup power. Now, if I'm just going someplace nomadically, I care obviously about clean power and reliable internet, and I do quiz the Airbnb pretty heavily on what internet speed I ask them to grab screenshots and send it to me. And then I also scope out co-working spaces around the area that I'm gonna be for a backup location. I believe I talk about that in another video. But if I'm looking for someplace where I'm gonna be hanging out for a long time, I definitely want that clean power which you can get by reviews. You can take a, a circuit tester, which I haven't always, but you can circuit test the uh, power in the building to make sure it's grounded well. And of course, ask the place that you're going to, do you have a generator? In fact, of course, I do have a generator. And in South America, like many countries, the power is not super reliable, so it does go out, you know, probably a couple times a week, but only for like 15, 30 minutes. So a generator is great. And of course, I keep uh, APC UPS with me to bridge that minute or so startup of the generator. That's important for me. Now, obviously I'm not carrying a, a UPS with me when I travel nomadically, but I've got the laptop battery because I almost always just work directly off the laptop if I'm only gonna be in a place for a couple of weeks. But clean power, clean internet, backup sources, that's important to me. Also down in the tropics, I always get air conditioning, this idea of cooling with the nice air and enjoying the ocean breeze. That ocean breeze is full of salt water. I do love smelling it. I don't want it on my computer. I keep my computer room closed and that wonderful ocean breeze away from my electronics because it is full of sand, salt, and dirt. And it's no good for the electronics. So I keep that out. I keep my AC on. I keep my computer room cool and dry. So I think an obvious question somebody might ask that if you're so freaked out about salt water on your computers, why on earth do you live on the beach? Well, this is why I live on the beach. 
I love to take my breaks and look at the ocean. And every night at six o'clock, I make sure I'm out looking at that sunset. This is a view from my living room. And this is why I'm nomadic and why I'm on a beach right now. The sunset over the mountains is just as pretty, about a hundred miles away. I hope this is helpful. I hope you find this information useful. If you do, subscribe if you want. Take care. Talk to you again.